let's start the video drawing a pork because all Star Wars things need a pork now. Really though, this is just the concept design for my canvas sketch. Canvas sketch, here we go. Again, I always do the under sketch with a colored pencil because it doesn't blend into the paint like a graphite pencil would. Today, I've decided to do a wintry painting of BB-8. I've been obsessed with Star Wars recently and I love it and it's nice to be a fan of something. It makes me happy. When it comes to art, sometimes I think about a deeper meaning to the piece I'm creating, but today I'm doing this for fun. It's a fun piece, there is no deeper meaning to it. It's BB-8 with a porg. Also, I see snow out my window, and so my mind's just going to snow. Often, I get asked by you guys how I can paint characters and not get in trouble with Disney, and the answer is quite simple. Disney see my videos as a source of promotion and often hire me to do the painting in the first place. Most of the paintings that I've made for Disney are actually painting in their UK offices, so the Beauty and the Beast one, the Coco one, and several others are in Disney. <laughs> Today though, I am just doing a fan art because I am a Star Wars fan. With this painting today, I'm using super cheap acrylic craft paint. Uh, not going too fancy here. <laughs> it actually doesn't blend the best. It's really bad at blending and takes quite a few layers. I love working with acrylic, but doing a mixture of acrylics and oil paints is my favorite way to work. Acrylics are great for base coats and backgrounds, but oils can really bring a painting to life, especially if you want to do vibrant colors in a painting. In regards to this painting, I'm keeping it just acrylic because I do want it to look more fun and cartoony rather than realistic. A bit more artsy, I guess. That's the plan for this one. I like painting the sides of my canvas because it means I don't have to frame it. I can just hang it on the wall like that. Also for videos, it makes it look a bit more complete on camera. And they save money on the frame, which is good for me. Yay, frames are so expensive. And lastly, I finished it off with some varnish. I also use Mod Podge. Uh, currently, I'm out of Mod Podge and I have varnish in my cabinet. And so that's what we're using. And here's the finished painting! Woo! Oh. So here is the finished product. I think it turned out really good. I'm quite happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye! Bye, bye, bye!